guys, welcome back to The Style of Beauty Doctor on YouTube. So today's video is all about my new Gucci belt. And I've called for a butler to help me put it on because now that I have this belt, I am filthy rich. Darling, welcome to my home. There's something wrong with me. But anyway, we are gonna be talking about the Gucci belt. We're gonna be talking about sizing, how to figure out which sizes to get if you're ordering online, or even if you're going in person because I had a little mishap when I went in the Gucci store to get measured for the belt. We'll talk about that. So keep watching, and if you're new here, girl, subscribe, join the family. So I also bought a Gucci baseball cap and even the biggest size, the XXL was kind of small so it's going back. Plus I'm kind of looking like Regine's mom from Living Single. I wanted a Gucci belt because I like small luxury accessories that can kind of zhuzh up my clothes. So I'm a fan of the high low. So for instance, I have a coat that I got from Savers Thrift, which you'll see later on in the video because this coat is what really awakened my senses to wanting to purchase a Gucci belt. Um, I paid maybe $20 for the coat, got it altered, made it spruced it up, and then I love to belt it, but I was like, a Gucci belt will take it up a further notch. Plus, this is something that I'm going to have forever, can wear with a bunch of things, and it'll just elevate my wardrobe. Now, Gucci belt is not for everyone, so if you're watching this video and you're like, you know what, Danielle, I love your personality, and I love you, but the Gucci belt, I'm not gonna be able to do it, make sure you check out the description box because I will link to some statement belts that are more on a palatable budget. I'm a fan of the statement belt. I have a lot of statement belts that I do not spend a ton of money on. One of my favorite places to go for statement belts is BCBG, but you always wait till they have a sale because they always have some sort of like 40 to 50% off. So there are many places you can get statement belts. You don't have to spend the money on Gucci, but of course, since this video is about the Gucci, let us talk more about the Gucci. So typically what drives up the price in a Gucci belt is the size of the logo and of course the material it's made out of. Some of them are canvas, some of them are leather, and when I tell you, wow, oh, that is some leather. I gotta say it like that, leather. You know, first of all, you, you figure out which belt you want based on your budget. I would have loved to have a belt with the ginormous double G logo, but I couldn't justify the price because it's essentially rent. So initially I thought I was a 120 in the belt and you know once the once I real once you once you understand um, how to do sizing you'll see how like erroneous that was. <laughs> but I actually went into a Gucci store, got fitted, um, the girl measured me. I think something might have happened when she wrote because they didn't have my size in stock at that store and she wrote something down and at the end she put 120. And I think she might have made a mistake because if the belt was way too big, or either that or I was just not paying attention. So the belt that I wanted was out of stock like everywhere on the Gucci site, everything. As a matter of fact, I, I ordered on the Gucci site but and they said that it was out of stock. And I think I kind of like forgot about it until I got an email a couple of weeks ago saying that your order has shipped. So the 120 comes and that thing even on the tightest loop was just like flop <laughs> and didn't fit. Then I also realized that I probably wanted to go with a different design with the serpent on there just to have a little something extra and I'm so glad I did. So I ordered the 115. So then I tried on the 115, figured it was okay. I had a lot of loops, you know, a lot of the little notches um, that I could use. And I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. Cause like, say I go up in size, I'll have a belt that's gonna work. But uh, two of my fashion blogger friends was like, Girl, that belt is too big for you. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. So went in, ordered the 100, and at that point was when I was like, you know what, let me look at this size guide because this is a lot of, you know, putting money on credit cards and shipping things back, and that's a lot. So I looked at this size chart, and I'm like, wow, I could have been at the right size a couple orders ago. So, wind up with the 100. I'm gonna try it on and let you see, but let's talk about sizing and how to figure out your size. So if you go on the Gucci site, you'll see that the belt, the numbers, the corresponding numbers are just centimeters. Now, I know us in the US, you know, you may need to go to Google and put centimeters to inches converter, uh, but essentially all you need 
some measuring tape. Now you're gonna decide where you want your belt to lie. So are you gonna put it on your hip? Or are you gonna put it more on your natural waist? So if you're gonna put it on your hip, that number, you know everybody's body types and body shapes are different, but typically the hip number is probably gonna be uh, wider, aka bigger than if you put it on your natural waist. So I wanted mine to be on my natural waist just because I don't really do the belt belted jeans or, or you know I, I don't really do that look I love more of the flowy at the natural waist kind of look when it comes to like dresses skirts coats things like that so you're gonna get your handy dandy measuring tape now you can find measuring tape anywhere the dollar store uh, the drugstore Target Walmart wherever you're gonna find measuring tape of course in fabric shops and if you if you're not familiar with measuring yourself I'll leave links to where you can find some like measuring charts to figure out you know where you need to keep the tape but this is what's going to help you to make sure you get that right size especially if you're ordering online and then if you're in the store there's multiple sizes that you can just actually try on the belt yourself okay so as you can see I still have the tag on it I I'm just uh, leave the tag on until I'm getting ready to wear it kind of girl because you never know but anyway I am more dressed up than I usually am in this video because I wanted to demonstrate the belt and I am very hot. So I got this top, it's from Who What Wear, the Who What Wear collection at Target. The skirt is Zara, I got from one of their, uh, the what you call it, the spring sale last whenever. I'm so about to be the girl with like the Gucci belt and the $2 outfit. <laughs> Here's a 100. I still got a little bit of a gap there. And here it is on the second loop. Go to the third loop and still be good. Oh wow, I can go to the second to last loop and still be good. So this is, I, I feel very comfortable with the 100, although I probably could go down if I wanted to. I'm comfortable with this 100 size because I feel if my weight fluctuates, if it goes up or if it goes down, that, you know, I could be quite comfy. So now let's try it on with the coat. So this coat, like I said before, I paid like 20 bucks for it from Savers. And then I had a vision for it. And I was like, you know what? Cause I do a lot of, um, I look at a lot of the street style pictures, especially on Pinterest. And I get a lot of style inspiration from there. Like a lot of those, um, ladies in the street style pictures are wearing like, you know, not only do they have on a Gucci belt, they're like wearing <laughs> Gucci head to toe, they're wearing labels, honey. And um, you know, I don't have the labels budget, but I'll look at those kind of outfits and get inspiration and find things that are with either already in my closet or within my budget reach to kind of mirror those looks. Okay, so I've got on my house shoe. I've told you before, I like the croc because you can get them wet and they're not gonna have like that, you know, when you get slippers wet. But the coat is a little big for me. But just to give you an idea, I'll get another coat so you can see some more variations. Here's another example. This is an old coat from ASOS with this really cool ruffle design. And you know, you add the Gucci belt to give it a little bit more edge. And of course, I, like I said, I still have a tag. This trench comes with its own bright colored belt, but I was like, yeah, let's see what it, what it looks like with the Gucci belt. And she's quite cute. I, I got a lot going on right here because I have the blouse tucked in, but you know, I would have to style this a much better way. But I think you're catching the drift here, but make sure you follow me on my blog and on Instagram because that's where I put my fashion pictures and so you can get see how I style it, okay? So make sure you follow me on my blog and on my Instagram. I'll have the links in the description box. Okay, so that wraps things up. Now let's get super chatty in the comments. Leave me a comment below. Do you own a Gucci belt? Do you own a statement belt? What's your favorite designer? Let's talk about it in the comment section. Don't forget to follow me on social. I'll have the links in the description box. And don't forget to check the description box for some other information that's pertinent to this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.